Well, hello, crew, and welcome back to Space Station 13. Tonight, we're on Asteroid Array 2. And... Who knows what we'll be. I don't think there's a random option for jobs yet. End the round alive, but not on the station or escape levels. Somehow I turned out to be the HOP. Okay. Not exactly what I was signing up for, but hey. Why not? Put some body armor on. I, I gotta have my flash. And I will go do promotions here in a moment. Don't need a wig. Got my ID cards. Let's just get this all set up. Because I know people are going to be showing up. Smoky Bacon. H-O-P. And I'll just put out a little shout out here. Didn't get the job you wanted? Feel like you can do more with your life? Now offering promotions to highly qualified people at customs. I think my screen was locked up for a second. So who do we have? Marcos Boyer. An engineer. So what are you... So what are you good with? What do you want out of your life? He wants mining. Okay. I think I can do that. Maybe. I'm probably gonna miss a door or something. Mining outpost. Mining outpost proper. I'll even give him access to the hangar. And Let's see engineer miner. I don't have any fancy titles to give out. And Lewis Smith, I think, stole his ID. Full full access. I don't hmm. Seriously? Hello, Damien. It's his life goal to complete his cleaning objectives, huh? I'm not gonna give him all access. How about... I'll give him... I'm gonna give him just some random stuff. Engineering control. Primarily it's because... I'm kind of curious what he'll do with it. Emergency storage. Headquarters. No, I don't want to give him that. About toxins. And... He'll be a hallway warrior. It's not all access. But whatever. We have Mars here. What's up, Damien? Damn it. I'm gonna get my ID back. Oh, you motherfucker. God damn it. Oh, I knew I should have just flashed him and threw him out. Oh, wait, no, he did leave my ID. Never mind. He probably just gave himself all access.
Looking for a new job. <coughs> I'll give this guy one. He was here earlier. It's the RD. That's there's Philip Farmer. I know what he wants. The Dotty Spud. Okay. Um, actually, hang on. And Donnie's foot is chasing him down. And what is Dottie? A mechanic? Where is mechanic at? Where the fuck is it? I'm going quick. Okay, not a new job per se, being the old RD and all, but we have no detective and that's not cool, especially since I won his code. Sure, he wants to be an RD with security clearance. I like mixing things up, you know. And he gives me a chocolate chip cookie. That honestly, I don't really trust that much. Where is it at? It's like, I think one of these... Doesn't the de detective have his own custom door? It's gotta be one of these. Research... Try that. It should work. Thanks for the cookie. I'll save it for when I'm really hungry. Hey, and 400 credits just thrown on the ground. That is your title, Mars. And HAL 9000 has been turned into the electoral machine. He is now the chief advisor to presidential nominee Noam Chomsky. Okay. Pretty sure we've served our shift here. If anybody else really wants a promotion, they can come ask for it. That went better than I thought it would. I was just really expecting... I just really thought Damien stole my ID. He wasn't that rude. And there he is. I'm not even going to bother to steal his ID from him. <laughs> There's Mars getting his best detective outfit going on. Apparently, Noam Chomsky is drinking in the bar. Interesting. I'll have a drink. It tasted amazing. Wow, that was good. I almost want to have another one. Lewis takes the shot. Patty's not quite sure. No wonder they're so good. Everything's Dan make everything that Dan makes is lovely. Okay. I 
Hello, Chomsky. I can't tell if he's actually sentient or not. Yeah, where are his election papers? And his papers were filed directly with CENTCOM, huh? I'm not sure I believe it, but whatever. I know what to do. Let's go bother the quartermasters for a minute. I want to see what the merchants have for sale, because I might transfer a bunch of money to the QM. Got I am a crook and Baz McMahon working the QM today. I like to spread money around when I'm the HOP. Sometimes they sell items that are really expensive, and the QM won't be able to afford it normally otherwise, unless the miner the miners have been really busy. So there's the detective. Probably the real one. Oh great. And who is that? Randy Arrett. I don't play a security HOP, so... Roger, I'm gonna trap you in here. Okay, everybody thinks they're entitled to just break into places. I'm sure he's got a toolkit to break his way out, but whatever. What do we got? Dottie Spud's ID. Dottie Spud is running around punching people naked. You okay, Dottie? I think Dottie's finally lost it. for the kill but missed it really sometimes it's just hard to care about what's going on
The streets are tough. You gotta learn how to defend yourself. Goddamn fire logs. <laughs> Out of my way, Doc. It's a serious business here. Yeah, come on, step up, Pete. I guess we're both going down for a ride. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I can fart on him in here. <laughs> we're both going to come out clenching our cheeks. We don't get ground up. Hey, there's people down here. Lewis is down here? Shit. Oh, damn it. We're gonna die, probably. Come on. Like, okay, I think it's all been shut down. I think Dottie is still trapped down there. Oh no, damn it. I just can't push anyone down. Okay, so, so now that the naked party is almost over with the naked garbage disposal party. I think it's him right here. With his foul, nasty cigarettes. <sighs> I think I need this cookie after all this. My sugar is low. Let me take a bite of the delicious chocolate chip cookie. I think I just want to go chill on the bridge for a minute. And Chomsky is dead, apparently. I think the power is out, too. I'm gonna need to get a crowbar. Cause yeah, power is going out all around the station it looks like. I should have noticed earlier. Can't get into engineering. What about electrical here? I don't have access. I'm gonna end up flashing that guy here in a minute. And then just handcuffing him. Wait a second. Damn fire locks again. I need to go back to my console, my computer, before I lose all power around the station. And give myself all access. I should have done that earlier. I can't rem remember exactly how to get there, damn it. Hello, Harner. my office been broken into here? I think it has. Okay. So, let's see. Give this one... Seriously? Okay. 
Oh, come on. He's got sunglasses on. Lovely. I think he was going to be able to get a chokehold on me that quickly. I should have known. Is he? I bet you he's a changeling. Because he went straight for the chokehold, and he's behind the bush there. I've just been changeling bait in these last few videos, it seems like. At least I think he is a changeling. He might just be a murderer. I didn't even know I gave him access to this room. I wonder what he wants with my PDA. The captain is dead in the AI upload. Probably killed by the AI. And <laughs> Dottie Spud was killed with the Bible. That's pretty much it for me, then. He's still got his hallway warrior ID, but I'm guessing he's gonna upgrade it here. There's Lewis Smith. I just I don't know if he's actually a trader because he hasn't used any trader items. And he goes straight for the weapons. Well, this will get interesting. Shampoo, the trader janitor. Loaded up with probably an all-access ID, two taser guns, at least my flash. And he has an EMAG. And now he has thermals. Yep. Except he didn't take them. He wants his sunglasses instead. I wonder if he just has to collect taser guns or something. And 
No, he didn't take my flash. He drops a box of flashbangs and takes another taser gun. And he begins to access the bank records. Someone is about to become very, very rich. I'm guess guessing his name rhymes with screw you. bridge has finally lost all power. It goes pretty quickly because of all the computers and vending machines in here. Can't tell what he's looking for. Maybe the APC to provide power to the room? However, uh, if you're looking for APCs to return power to a room, I'm pretty sure they are no longer in the rooms themselves. They've been placed outside in the maintenance tunnels. That way, like, electricians can actually get to them without having to enter the bridge. And that way people can fuck with them outside while people are in the rooms, unaware get locked down and lose power and everything. It's just a shame that the environmental uh, doesn't really do anything from what I can tell. Like, if you cut the environmental control in a room, I'm not entirely sure what happens. But it doesn't seem like people freeze to death or suffocate. Which would be awesome to, like, cut the power in a room, seal them in. And then turn off the life support. And yep, he found the APC. Is he going to call the shuttle already? He's like, I've got my tasers, I've got my money. It's time to get the hell off this station. And the shuttle has been called. If he's clever, he'll go back in there and turn off the APC. He probably deleted Calm Master because he just placed the disc in the trash there. The hallway warrior is on on a mission, and he's not going to be stopped. And my guess is he's going to fly under the radar for the rest of the round here. Excuse me, he's a tough guy to follow. And he goes to the John to sit down and take a crap. To ease the burden on his mind. Take a load off his shoulders. My question is, what is he ordering? He's either, either going there to buy time or to order something from the syndicate. He's already got an EMAG, which means the shuttle will most likely be leaving as soon as it arrives. Maybe he really is just clearing his mind 
in the peace and quiet of a bathroom he's cleaned dozens of times. Looks like some power is returning to the station. Let's see, we've got Patty Samuelson and Lewis Cipher. It's producing 193 watts. I, I don't think that's enough to even power one room. These can normally power the station for about 30 minutes if they're turned on. Where did our little murderer run off to? Who is that? Patty Samuelson. He's now trapped down in disposals. And there he goes. He's out. I wasn't sure if the barman had access to those doors or not. There's a picture of the perp. Shampoo in a chair. Where you at, Pooh? Out in space. Playing it safe. He's not in it for the glory or the fame, or to go down in a blaze of gunfire. He's just here to do the job and get paid. What is it, two brain-dead cyborgs right there? It is Dottie Boop and Kappa 68. And Dottie Boop says that they are the oracles. Ask us and you might be told. Where can I find a Voltron, Shampoo asks. We'll see how good of an oracle they really are. The oracle does not tolerate such whimsy. And into a place with grinders must you go. So there is a place out in space where you can buy a Voltron. And I think I know where it is. The trick would be getting enough money, because I think it's like 20,000 credits or something. And Shampoo wants to know if the oracles accept offerings. And he throws over the EMAG. Wow. I'm not entirely sure what he's given the EMAG up for. Because it's not like they're going to be able to give him the Voltron. Somebody is bombing the hell out of the AI core, apparently. No AI! It is... Unknown. It's Marcos Boyer, because he's got his PDA in his left hand. It's probably really loud. Oh well. <laughs> I 
the AI might actually survive this. And yep, the station's run out of money. So it's all been stolen. No AI. The electoral machine begins to power down. And Marco sits there trying to contemplate his next move, how to deal with the mess he's created. What's that, flashbangs? Either flashbangs or EMP. Yep, an EMP grenade. And the shuttle will arrive in one minute. The captain is dead, the chief engineer is dead, Buck Hook. has suffered some serious damage. Attack still commencing. He's probably not going to be able to kill the AI with EMP grenades. If he flew in through here and maybe got lucky he could come right here and beat it to death with his jetpack. But that's if this turret didn't actually unload with laser, hot laser death on him. And the AI's been knocked unconscious with one blow. Its circuits have been jarred. Its processor scrambled. And somebody shows up to help. It's Damien Garnies. The ID thief. Comes suited up with a taser gun in his left hand. And the AI's core is shattered open. The assailant takes flight. Damien Garney's right behind him. And he is tased. I really hope that wasn't his oxygen. And the shuttle is gone. Well, good job, Damien, in hunting down the AI murderer. Let's see, shampoo. He needed five tasers. I don't know how he didn't get that. I could have swore I counted it. Good freaking try, though. Marcos, you almost made it. And good job to the crew. Because, again, there's a lot of them here. I'm kind of surprised. I'll see you guys next shift, I'm sure. Banging donk on it.